Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 39, chapter 8. This chapter is about the conservation of energy. As you can see, we have the ball. You drop a ball. It dropped from initial position 2 meters with the initial velocity 0. And then it drops to hit the ground. So velocity v1, we don't know. And the position for y1 is 0. And then it will moves back, right? Moves up. So then in the velocity v2, we don't know, and the y2 is zero. And in the final position is 1.5 meter. The final velocity is zero. So this is a very simple process. So a ball just uh, drop down, just uh, the ball is moved down and then move up. So ball move down and then move up. This is the whole thing. And then first one, we need to find the fraction the percentage of its uh, initial energy is lost during this uh, punch right so the first one we can see the initial energy is just the initial kinetic energy plus initial potential energy kinetic energy is zero because the velocity is zero so it just has mg y, y r initial the final similarly the velocity is zero so the final kinetic energy is just mg y y final right agree and then we need to find the fraction lost. So use the final mass initial divided by initial. So in this one, we get is 25% of the energy is lost. So where is it? Then we need to find the speed, the ball just before and just after the punch the ground. Right? So the V1 and V2. How could we do that? We can consider. The energy for the V1 and the V initial, this energy is conserved. Do you agree? Because only the gravity do the work. So we can say initial energy is one half mv one V initial square plus mg y initial equals to one half mv one square. This is a find the at position one the energy kinetic energy plus the potential energy. And input the known quantities V initial and Y1, we get is V1 is 6.3 meter per second. Very similarly, we consider from the V2 to the final. In this process, still only the gravity do the work. So gravity do the work, the energy conserved, right? Energy conserved. Kinetic and uh, mechanical energy is conserved. So the energy at a position 2 equals the energy at the final and then we input the known quantities Vf and Y2 0 inside we can get the V2 is 5.4 meter per second we see V1 not equal to V2 and some energy is lost where did the energy go? the energy maybe comes from the heat energy because there is a air resistance or something and this is like a fraction do the work so this fraction do this air resistance force do the work make the energy converted to zero more energy so this energy just converted to the heat energy thank you